Hello YouTube, and today I'll be showing you my uh, Minecraft handbooks and the 2014 annual. Um, I wanted to do it from this angle so you could get a better view and from normally my desk view where I put it on the desk and then you get to see me and the um, the books. But yeah, I'm doing it from this angle. You won't be able to see it on the screen that much, but I'll try to do my best. So basically what I'm going to do in this video is a review of all of these like books. But um, yeah, there's one that I just got today, which was... This one, so that's basically like a first look as well for me, I guess. So, yeah, uh, well, let's start with the handbooks um, before, and then we'll do the annual after. So, the first one I got was the beginner's handbook, and I think this one is definitely the best one um, out of all of them. Even though it sounds a bit noobish, that's what I was thinking, I shouldn't get it, but it, I needed it because it would be better for my collection. And, yeah, it's really good because I don't want to spoil anything, but... I'll just actually I'll, I'll try not to spoil anything, um, but it just it just has really really good things in there. There was like some stuff in there which I didn't even know, um, and yeah, you got this thing. This isn't really a spoiler, but yeah, it's just like you're alone in a myster mis mysterious new world full of hidden dangers. You have only minutes to find food and shelter before darkness falls and the monsters come looking for you. What do you do? So basically, yeah, uh, this is my Minecraft Beginners Handbook. It just gives you all the information on Minecraft. It has really cool things in there, like stories by, like, um, Paul Sawyer, something like that, J Junior, um, and Captain Sparkles, like, their first day in Minecraft. And this one was much more, this lasted much more longer for me to read than any of the others. So that one would definitely be the best one. So I definitely rec recommend that one before getting any of the others. Of the others, but yeah, you meant to because it is the beginners, so yeah, to do that side. So the next one I got was obviously redstone because me at the time I was such a noob at redstone, I wasn't that newbie, but I knew simple stuff like what redstone torches do and powered rails and everything. But yeah, this this is what I wanted to do. I think this is probably want to be my one of my favorites, maybe, and definitely this would definitely be probably so far second best. I'm not sure because I haven't read the combat one. So this is the redstone handbook, and it would just give you um, details on like how to make stuff out of redstone. So I'm not gonna spoil it again, but it shows you cool stuff that have been made out of redstone. Like if I go skip to that clock that they made, they made a sick clock in here somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. I can't find it. I don't wanna spoil it, but they made this as well. This is pretty cool. Like it just releases zombies and it counts your score everyone you kill. Something like that, I'm not sure, but it's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so on the back, here's everything you need to know to get connected to the electrifying possibilities of redstone. So yeah, as you guys probably know now, redstone is definitely the best thing about Minecraft. Um, so that probably be the second best, I'm not sure, but overall at the end I'll tell you in the order. But yeah, this is the um, second one that I got, and yeah, I, I love redstone, so that's side now. Okay, the third one that I got was the construction handbook, and basically I thought this would be really good and it would tell you how to make stuff, but, and, and the colour obviously, it's my favourite colour, so it's, it looks really nice. Um, the third one that I got, and it was literally, it was just like showing you builds that people have made, it didn't tell you how to make stuff, it, um, I guess it can tell you kind of, yeah, it does tell you how to make some stuff, but not the most amazing things, like a barrier, like, uh, mobs or something, blocking off mobs or anything or something like that. But on the back it says there's nothing that can't be built in Minecraft but with so many possibilities where do you start and how will you ever match the creative flair of the experts. Um, yeah so it's just literally just showing you like builds by the people. I'll show you the contents of this if, if there is a, there should be a so you can see like um it's, yeah, it's, uh, see they're all like different things that have been built, like it just shows pictures of them, um, it does tell you how to make a few things, but not everything, so I'll say this is the least, best, still good because it adds to the collection, so that was my third one, uh, move that aside now, okay, and the last one, which I got today, was the combat one, so this is a first look, because I have not looked at this at all, so I'm going to go ahead and read the back, so in Minecraft you're never alone, and treat threat and and the threat of attack is constant. How you, how can you survive? I don't know why I said tree. Yet. I'm not sure. My reading skills are not up to date. So basically, yeah, I was hoping this one would be the best one because it's combat, I guess. And this is like one of the main things about survival. And you know me, I love survival more than anything. Um, yeah, I was hoping this would probably be one of the best 
This will probably be the second best, maybe. I'm not sure. But I haven't read it at all. So I'm not going to even spoil it for myself. I'm just going to read it at beddy time. If you call it that, I'm not even sure. But yeah, um, this will probably be the second best. Just judging from anything. I'm going to look at the contents and see what there is. Yeah, basic weapons, armor, mob combat. Yeah, it tells you about how much health and everything, I'm guessing. Like, all these different mobs. Spider, slime, creeper, skeleton, zombie, witch, enderman. Combat in the nether, ghast, magma cube, blaze. Wither skeleton, zombie pigman, uh, wither, and get into the end. And the ender dragon, there's just so much stuff. Uh, this probably be second best, so in order. Beginners first, then combat one, then the redstone one, then the construction one. So that's all the handbooks that we've looked at, all these four. There's only four together, and I think they all came out 2013, 2014, I'm not sure. But yeah, uh, definitely go check these all out. These these are so awesome. You can get them on the uh, Minecraft website, I think. Can you, you, you? I think you can. I'm not sure. But if not, they, they sell them on Amazon as well. So they're really cool, different, like, really nice colours. They look really nice on your um, shelf, because I have a shelf just up there. And it looks really nice. So they're all the handbooks. I'll move them aside now. So now moving on to the first one that I got. Which was the annual 2014. And um, which I got the start of this year. And this Minecraft music is annoying me. So I'm just going to shut it up. God damn it. Okay there you go. I've just. Uh, okay there. It's gone. Okay basically. It has a um, creeper on the front. I'm not sure why. It just looks really nice with the gold. And it has the four different tools that there are. So there's a pickaxe in one corner. A sword there. There's a shovel there. Um, and there's an axe there. Axe is obviously the best. In my opinion. But yeah. It has a creeper on the back again. Uh, 799 barcode at the back. So yeah. Uh, it's really it's really nice design actually. Really quality material. As as will like all of them were. Uh, it's a lot thinner than the others. Because this one's more interactive. Um. So this one, I don't think there's much to spoil about, like, unless you want to see my skin, which I think I can fit in, yeah, like, you can see, like, there, here you got my, my name, I drew my skin on here, I coded it all in, because you get the pixels and everything, which is cool, um, my username, um, how old I am, so, yeah, and it just gives you, like, contents again here, um, this is Minecraft, builds, redstone, papercraft, puzzles and games, yeah, and it's pretty awesome. So, like, this one, you can cut stuff out of it, which I did do on one. Um, I took out the door, the, what's it called, the door handle, door hanger, and it said, um, welcome to Millen Spawn Point. You write your name in it, basically. And on the other side, it says, no creepers allowed or something, I'm not sure. But, yeah, it tells you uh, all the health of all the mobs, which is really good. This is probably the best one out of all of them, out of all any books. And this one's probably, yeah, this is just the best. Look, it's just so... It's presented so well that it's it's look at it. You can tell what the mobs drop, how much health they have, um, their, what they look like on their face. It's pretty cool. Um, and then there's blocks as well, like redstone ore. That's probably the best block. Yeah, uh, obsidian. Yeah, that's one of the best as well. It tells you how to craft stuff as well, which is pretty awesome if you're a noob. Um, but yeah, I already knew how to craft most of the stuff. If you don't, then yeah, definitely check this one out. Um, it's got some biomes telling you about biomes, like there's the swamp one, there's the ocean, there's the plains, there's extreme hills, there's a desert, etc. And there's some more there. That that's a pretty cool biome. And there's a jungle temple over there. I'm kind of spoiling a lot, but I want to get to the best part. So basically, yeah, this one I I had to print off my own because I like it better. It looks way better like this. That's my skin. If you didn't know. Um, yeah, favourite Minecraft YouTuber, obviously Bayesian Canadian. Um, yeah, uh, I joined Minecraft 17th of July 2013. Preferred gameplay mode, obviously survival. Uh, I haven't wrote, I've kept this one bla uh, blank, the weirdest experience in Minecraft, because I don't know, I haven't had a weird experience, but I've had a best personal build. Um, yeah, me building myself in, in my colour as well. So, best moment. Um, my best moment in Minecraft so far has to be the time when I met XRPMX13 on the Nexus um, MC.net. I think that's a little bit out of date because I, I met a Bayesian Canadian and that was the best. But yeah, the best moment I want is that I could, if if I could play any server slash game with Bayesian Canadians, God is Minecraft or Jewelry Mainset. So yeah, um, that's that one, uh, that page, which is a, that's really cool where you can get to interact with just like skin and everything and this thing i built in pocket edition it was pretty awesome because it tells you how to build stuff as well so this has uh, this is basically all of the handbooks mixed together in one book with like really like less pages um there's a slide here like 
diamond things here. I know I spoiled a lot, but I had to show it. I just had to. But yeah, I'm I'm um filled everything in like you can see here. I filled it all in. It didn't even fit on the screen. This. Oh, you can see I've cut something out here. See, it says um I've cut it out. You can see that's why the page is like that. Uh, and it says strictly no creepers allowed. I've got that on my door all the time. And there's some really cool codes in here which you can do when you're bored, um, which I haven't done yet because I've been too busy playing Minecraft. And there's a really cool thing which I found really cool was um, Ride the Pig or something. What's it called? It's time to play Ride the Pig. Yeah, Ride the Pig. And basically, this is like a little mini game. You just need a, what is it? You need one die or dice. Um, and you literally play all the way to the end. It's really cool. Um, only in this Minecraft annual. You can, I just played, I played with everyone, like my brother, my sister, and mum. We enjoyed it so much. It was really good. Um, I haven't filled this in either, even though I could fill it in easily. Um, just the name of blocks when you're bored again. So you test your Minecraft skills. That's pretty cool. The end. Um, where's that page? Um, I don't know where it is, but... I don't know, but this one, I think this book, yeah, this book came out before any of the handbooks did out, like, come out. But yeah, um, you can see here, uh, that it's showing the, both of these books, which I've already got. Like, it's pretty weird to have all of the Minecraft handbooks as well. Because I'm a big fan of Minecraft, if you didn't know. <laughs> okay, here's one of the best pages, and I just, what the frick, I pressed something on my keyboard accidentally. But yeah, um, you see it shows Captain Sparkles, Paul Saws Jr., and some other guy at Mojang, I think. And here's all my favourite, like, uh, Minecraft. I think this is outdated as well. So you can see Sky of Minecraft, Belgian Canadian, Jerome SF, which you can't see on the screen. Um, there's Dissectatron, which is Ryan. And there's uh, Tariq, which is TVRB. And yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. So I hope you enjoyed. That was basically all Minecraft books that I have, or handbooks in the 2014 annual. Hope you enjoyed. Tell me what you think. Um, judging from the looks, which one do you think is the best? And probably my opinion. But yeah, definitely this one the best, then the uh, combat one, then the redstone one, then the construction one. But the best one, definitely the annual. So, as it's 2014, you might as well get this. Um, just tell me which one you prefer. Tell me if you like the video. And yeah, subscribe for much more to come, and I'll see you later. Bye!